What's he doing here? Uh, I... You! How dare thy showeth thine face after what thy did! What does thy have to say for thyself? <laughs> yes, I am the true champion of the Gemini Tournament, the crown prince of all douchebags. I will defeat you all with my ridiculously overpowered gun arm, which is 100% legal for use in any competitive environment. What? Uh, Don't tell me. Yes, that's right. Bow before my impossibly designed hairstyle and ass ugly desaturated red pajamas. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> I'm done. And my color scheme is just no, no. Really, I'm I'm messing with you. Knew it. That was really weird. Anywho, yeah. <laughs> so I'm Ned King number four. You can call me Ruby Rules. You seem pretty upfront. So your power is shape shifting, I guess. If you want to get technical, sure. I mean, I figured since Captain Monkey Suit was like, Hey, what's the matter, you? Yeah, I can make my arm into an air conditioner. Hey! I just thought I'd be fair and give you guys and gal an idea of what you're up against. So, yeah. All right, I'm taking this one. Nay, this Net King has chosen to make it personal. I shall comply, for I am Nidoc, Dragon of Avenging Past Opponents. Personal, huh? Well, that's what I'm all about, as you can plainly see. Let us begin. Okay, then. It's your funeral. Just imitating the powers of my comrades. Do you not have any strength of your own? Ha! Oh, come on, you didn't forget, did you? We made this game. Every single character model you see bebopping throughout Tome, those were all approved by yours truly. Technically, they are mine strength. That may be so, but those characters were handcrafted by the players who give themselves to the world you and your fellow Net Kings open to us. You cannot brashly claim all the credit for their creativity, can you? Can you take that credit for yourself? Well, I... that is to say... Yeah, I thought I recognized your model. You're the 1 millionth, 111 thousandth, 111th registered player, aren't you? The winner of that ridiculous contest? I created that design. A ye old dragon warrior in tribute to the retro games that inspired me during Tome's development, and you gladly accepted it. I didn't expect you to take that character so far, though. Wait, but that means... It means, you could say, Nylock, that in a way... I am your father! No! That's impossible! Doest ye old internet search, you know it to be true. Never! Equal in power, yet a force strong enough to defeat itself. you down and become more powerful than you could possibly imagine i imagined you you may have imagined my physical body but the heart and soul within it are my own you cannot actually believe you are that character i made you i own you nay i made my own self i am nylock dragon of the cold steel Well said. Beautiful. But seriously, Deb's in the next fight. Not bad at all. 
You've done this designer proud, my son. Here's hoping you pull this off. <laughs> that guy was pretty entertaining. Kinda reminded me of you, Kerb. Don't insult me! Well, this place seems a little less threatening. Have you learned nothing from watching the last couple fights? The environments don't matter. Well, yeah, but they seem to reflect the Net King's personalities in their designs. So maybe we'll have someone a little less intimidating or aggressive this time. Those last two? They seem challenging, sure, but not really that intimidating. Welcome, players, to the Hall of Net King number three. I am known as Kinder Spirit. Delighted to have you as my guests. <sighs> Look, we're just here for the fights and the wish. There's no need for the role-playing or the big dramatic fronts like we're in a story or whatever. It's appreciated, really, but you really don't have to. I see. Well, in that case... <laughs> you are just the cutest thing I've ever seen! I don't even know what you are, but I don't care! Who are you? How are you? Where can I buy toys of you? Can I keep you up? <laughs> okay, so do we fight now or what? No! I couldn't possibly lay a finger on you! We're well, doing a pretty good job right now! I'm just gonna keep you in here for later. Is this becoming a thing now? Oh boy. Well, we promised you see the final match, so I guess that leaves me. Don't worry, Curb. I'll save you. Ha <laughs> ha! Good joke. Okie dokie! Let's start right away! Done. Once again, Curve's Big Mouth does us all another favor. Yeah, good. Great. Glad I could be a scapegoat for you all while I'm here. Interesting. Thou looketh more like a scaped sheep to me. <laughs> that was fun. Let's play again sometime. No already. Shall we? Yes already! Almost to the end now. I guess this one is the second to last, huh? Yeah, we're doing pretty well, I'd say. Thanks again for letting us do this, GC. It's been a ton of fun so far. Of course. I'm still pondering ideas for a wish to be granted if we manage to triumph over the last two Net Kings. Power, fame, fortune. Well, you've pretty much achieved the first two already. That last one might be doable. We're not really going to ask them for money, are we? Well, maybe not like a cash prize, but more like money put towards something all of us could use. Like what? Like, maybe they could give us all a tour of NetKing software or something. Oh, that'd be cool! They're based out of Washington, right? I think so. I, uh, I don't know if they'd be down with that, to be honest. I hear they're pretty protective of their facility. Ah, uh, that's a shame. I'd love to see what their studio looks like to look at their tech, you know? Or, if not giving us a tour, maybe they could throw some kind of meet and greet with them. Like, they could fly us all out somewhere. We could invite Sad and Whitey and T-Bones. Hmm. You know what? I'd be cool with that idea. I concur. Wait, 
Really? Both of you guys? Much has changed, fair lady flame girl. I feel closer to you all than ever before. Perhaps it is time that I left my lair and crossed the threshold to the fabled land of America to meet my comrades in another plane of existence. That's awesome. Well, yeah, let's ask him if we can set that up. Let's focus on reaching the end of the quest first. This, this is, is the, the end, end for, for you. you. Oh, boy. Yes, welcome. Welcome. You have entered my domain now. The Hall of Net King number two. You may call me Bitra. Now, who among you wishes to try and topple me from my throne? That'd be this guy. Oh, really? Hey, if there's only two left, and we promised GC the final match, all that leaves is you. It's true. Him? You're gonna stick me with the mushroom guy? Tis certainly fitting, Squire. How excitable. A lowly Squire, pitted against such wondrous toadstool-themed royalty. I can certainly picture the bout in my dragonly mind as I speak. Squire against King. King versus Squire. Perhaps things were fated to be this way, Squire Kaboffa. Ha ha ha. This brash imp creature wishes to challenge me. Very well. I am not a Squire. I am not an imp. And I'm not gonna take this shit any longer! It's pronounced Karma for God damn it! The subjects of the terrain. Your perilous journey through the heavens of magical expertise is nearly at an end, but not ended by my hand. One last opponent awaits you, one stronger than I. I believe you might recognize him. It will take everything you have and more to overcome him. Godspeed to you all in your battle of gods. Let's go. We're almost there now. Please, after you, your majesty. Uh... <coughs> right. Come on. Well, we made it. I think we all know what's coming next, right? I think so. He's already here. So you managed to reach me. That's quite impressive. As you guessed, I'm Net King number one, and I'll be your final opponent. Are you ready? You were the winner of the contest, weren't you? Yes. Delighted to make your acquaintance. We've met before, though, haven't we? We have. Yes, I remember. The Gemini Tournament. Well then, this should be fun. For someone who made it to the final round of that competition, I shouldn't hold anything back. Give me everything you've got. As you wish. Good luck, GC! We'll be rooting for you! I believe in you, Sir Game Crazed. Give him hell!
versus the shadows of the terrain below. Two deities locked in a test of ultimate strength. Yeah? Indeed. Sir Gamecraze is far more skilled than I. Than any of us, for that matter. He is perhaps the most powerful warrior in Toe I have ever known. That went even better than I had expected. You're a player of incredible skill. You must know this game very well. They mean a lot to me, both Tome and your kind words. Likewise. All of us appreciate that you and your friends are so emotionally invested in something we put our heart and souls into making. In fact, we should all show our appreciation. Bitram, I'm the head of environment design. The creation of all three regions of Tome were overseen by yours truly. Kinder Spirit, head of the sound department. I handle the music, sound effects, and you know that voice when you log in? Welcome to Tome. That's me! <laughs> Ruby Rules, head of character design, but you knew that already. Really, all I do is manage the modeling system that allows you guys to create whatever you want for your characters. Pretty neat, huh? Exec, head of battle system development and programming. I design Tome's battle grid, and uh, I maintain the methods of combat for the game. That leaves me, head programmer and director of the Terrain of Magical Expertise project. So, on behalf of all of us, thank, thank you so, so much for, for playing, playing our, our game. game. Wait, I remember now. I think one of you gave a lecture at my high school a long time ago. We've been in the game industry for years, so that's very likely. We're always happy to spread what we know to others. Like Webmaster said, this is a giant passion project for us. Yeah, in fact, we've been wanting to do this special battle side quest for a long time, too. Like, since the beginning of the game's development. Anyway, it was all Exec's idea. Was it, huh? Sounds like something I would have come up with. I thought it was your idea, though. Huh. Well, maybe it was. I'll just take the credit if you don't want it. Typical. Hey, Vin. Hey! Sorry it took so long. Handling a bunch of complaints from people since that hacker attack from a couple days ago. Ah, that's okay. The admins said they'd take care of the contest winners when they're all done, so... I'm off for the day. Hey, is that yours? What? Oh, no. I, I didn't notice that till just now. Huh. All five of you are incredible! I remember seeing each of you fight during the Gemini Tournament. I watched the stream. I am most honored to hear that, Honorable Queen of the Net. He's funny. Actually, if you guys watched us all fight in the last couple rounds of the tournament, then you all watched us go up against that psychopath, Zeto. <laughs> I guess that's why you cracked that joke about him before, huh? <laughs> you know what the best thing about that is? <laughs> that psychopath that you guys put up with? He's... <laughs> what? Well, let's just say it's kind of ironic. You five would be the ones to do this whole challenge of the Net Kings thing, considering you already fought against two other Net Kings well before you set foot in home. Wait a second. Are we allowed to talk about that? Well, there's no harm in it, I guess. Zeto and his partner Kizuna are unofficially considered to be Net Kings number six and number seven. <gasps> Yeah, Zeta was the original physical tester for the VR tech we developed, and Kizuna was the virtual bug checker. They were the two most inexperienced members on the team, but they were both pretty good at what they did. It's true, and they're as passionate about Tome as all of us are. I word. No wonder Sir Zeto of the Sovereign Spiky Hairstyle lashed out during our tournament battle. My antics must have been horribly offensive to his honor as a Net King. How embarrassing. 
But then again, I can still safely consider myself a better combatant than he. Uh, hey! So, uh, we're supposed to get that wish now, right? Ah, of, of course, right. So, have you come up with any ideas of what you might want as a reward? As long as it's something within our power to do, we'll try our best to make it happen. Yeah, I've got something to say. Uh, dude, you should let GC make the request. I, I mean, it's his... No, sorry, but this can't wait. Is there a problem? There's a big problem. My question is, which one of you thought it was a good idea to put the forbidden power in the game? The... what now? You can't be serious. Tome's been plagued with hackers looking for it for the past year. Desecrating the game's regions, harassing other players and programmers so that they could get their hands on it. Alpha was the one who found the damn thing. He's gotten the worst of all of it. I mean, we heard reports of a few malicious players a while ago, but hadn't we been told most of them had eventually given up on whatever it was they were doing and left? Yeah, that's what the mods have said. That's only because we were the ones driving them away. That doesn't excuse the fact that this... Whatever it is, you guys allowed to be left in the game cause ridiculous amounts of emotional and possibly even physical damage to the players. Players that you claim to care so much about. I... I don't understand. If Zeta worked on creating the game with you, then you must know what it is. He described the forbidden power to me as a computer virus that was left behind in Tome's system and wasn't supposed to be discovered. But somehow, it discovered me. Because you guys didn't deal with it, my character model was infected. And it was like it... possessed me, or something. It turned me into a rampaging monster. And I couldn't control myself. It was a disaster! That's crazy! You're crazy! We don't know what you could even be talking about! We would never- I'm not making this up! Ask the others! Whatever this thing is, it has the ability to hurt people in real life through the game somehow! I swear, Zeto and I both almost died trying to get rid of it. What the? I've seen some weird shit, but that's not normal, is it? Uh, Sir Alpha, calm yourself, please. Lest you forget, we are in the presence of the Net Kings. Not now, Nylock. Look, he's not lying about any of this. The experiences we've had with this thing have been insane at best. Your moderators have been completely inept at keeping an eye on any hacker activity and what happened involving us. So we deserve some answers. Ah, <sighs> what a mess. Where do we even start? Hold on a minute. Now listen. Yes, they're all right about this. But before we continue, you five had better be aware of something. We are not obligated to keep any of what you choose to reveal to ourselves. So pick your words very, very carefully. He's got a point, John. Well, we can't just leave this hanging. This is a major problem. How do we handle it then? Hmm. Excuse me, sirs. Uh, I'm very sorry to interrupt your event, but, uh... Is this an emergency? We have an incredibly pressing matter right now. Well, I'm not exactly sure, but I think you need to see this. So, yeah. Any idea what the hell this thing is? We'll handle it. Gotta be kidding me. What about our I'm sorry, I, I can't begin to imagine what your group has been through. I wish we had time to fully explain, but please believe me when I tell you, we will contain this situation and prevent it from happening again. Right now, we need you to please leave so that we can focus on the problem at hand. What? Absolutely not! We're just as much a part of this as you are! No, at this level, I'm afraid you aren't. Again, I genuinely apologize for everything that's happened and for it not being brought to our attention sooner. The most immediate solution I can offer you is to log you out of Tome and have you stay logged out until we can get everything taken care of. The safety of every player logged in here is our responsibility to bear, not yours. Please understand. No way! Don't do this! I guess I don't have to catch you up on what's happened, do I? 
The Net Kings will be taking action tomorrow. I have a feeling I know exactly what they're going to try and do. We're officially out of time, then. More or less. So, now what? I need to make a few very important calls. Yeah.